Once you're getting ready for finals and you're feeling confident about getting your finals knocked out and if you're for some reason not sure yet if you're ready don't worry i'll be able to help you hey everybody welcome to bennett's music variety show the show where we play any music from the beginning of music to the 2020s i'm bennett lulig and i i've had a really good week this has been an awesome week for me folks and i'm so excited to wrap up my really nice school week with all of you to get a head start on your friday morning activities with some great tunes where today we'll play some mix of 90s and 2000s music. Some different music we haven't really heard yet, so I'm really excited for that. I hope you guys are too. But before we get into that, we have a lot of sports to get into. So first we're going to talk about UNI Athletics, and we'll start off with the men's basketball team, who was in action this past Wednesday night as they took on the Richmond Spiders, where the Panthers really needed to win, and they did get the win for their third win of the season as they beat the Spiders 78-73. Sophomore Trey Campbell led the Panthers in scoring, scoring with 21 points. Bowen Bourne also pitched in 17 points. The Spiders were led by Jordan Keenan scoring. With the win, the Panthers improved to 3-6 and six overall in the season, and they're hoping to build on that and get another win in a row as they hit the road tomorrow to take on the Toledo Rockets of the Main American Conference. That game will tip off at 1 p.m. for the Savage Arena in Toledo, Ohio, and will be streaming live on ESPN Plus, and could also be heard on the Panthers Sports Radio Network. The Panthers will be back at home Tuesday night, where they will take on the Prairie View A&M Panthers. Now on to women's basketball. There was no action for the United women's basketball team over the course of the week, but they will be back in the McLeod Center tomorrow, as they will host the South Dakota State Jackrabbits. The Panthers, who are 1-6, who are coming off of a loss at Creighton, are hoping to get on the right track here and get a second win of the year against a really good South Dakota State team who was in the March Madness tournament last season. The game will tip off at 2 p.m. from the McLeod Center and will be streaming live on ESPN Plus and can be seen and will be heard live on the Panthers Sports Radio Network with Brad Wells providing play-by-play -play commentary. The game is also the ugly sweater game where students are encouraged to wear their ugly sweaters to the game tomorrow. So get your ugly sweaters out folks. Show up in them tomorrow. And then if you still have the energy from tonight, if you still have the energy from tomorrow night somehow, the UNI wrestling team will make its home debut on Sunday as they host the Ivy League's Columbia Lions for their first home duel of 2023-2024. The wrestling will start at 2 p.m. from the McLeod Center and will be streaming on Flow Wrestling and will also be heard on the Panther Sports Radio Network. Now for other sports. The annual men's sci hawk game between the Iowa State Cyclones and the Iowa Hawkeyes was played last night in Ames at Hilton Coliseum. And in a pretty dominant fashion, the Cyclones destroyed the Hawkeyes 90-65. With the win, when the Cyclones improved to 7-2 on the season, while the Hawkeyes will fall to 5-4 on the season. The Hawkeyes were led by senior Peyton Sanford, who pitched in 14 points for the Hawks. Meanwhile, Gilbert... Meanwhile, Gilbert had 25 points to lead scoring for the Cyclones when what was a pretty good offensive game for the Cyclones as they scored 40 points in both periods. Now on the NFL action. Last night in Thursday Night Football, the New England Patriots went on the road to take on the 7-5 Pittsburgh Steelers who were coming off of a loss to a 2 win team, the Arizona Cardinals. And then somehow again, the Patriots lost to a, another to the lost team as the Patriots are able to beat the Steelers 21 to 18 thanks to three touchdowns by quarterback Bailey Zapp. With the win, the Patriots get their third win of the season and will go up to 3 and 10 on the season. Meanwhile, the Steelers lose their second straight home game to a two-win team as they will fall to 7 and 6 on the season. The Patriots will be back in action next week as they will host the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, the Steelers will be on the road at the Indianapolis Colts. Here is the rest of your week 14 action for the NFL. Or week 13, actually. I don't remember what week it is. But here is your action for next, this week. Tampa Bay is at Atlanta. Indianapolis is at Cincinnati. Jacksonville is at Cleveland. Houston's at the New York Jets. The LA Rams are at Baltimore. Detroit's at Chicago. Carolina's at New Orleans. Seattle is at San Francisco. Minnesota's at Las Vegas. Buffalo is at Kansas City. Denver is at the LA Chargers, and for Sunday Night Football this week, it's Philadelphia at Dallas. And then on Monday Night Football, we actually have a doubleheader this week. The first game will be Green Bay, who are coming off of their 
monumental home win against the Chiefs on Sunday night last week. Who are coming off of their... Oh my gosh. Guys, I am so sorry. I did not realize my mic was turned on. Let's restart that. I am so sorry, folks. I actually did not realize my mic was not on that whole time. So let's just restart. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Friday. Welcome to Bennett's Music Variety Show. The show where we do everything from the 50s, 60s, 70s, and any other decade. It's Bennett Law League. I hope everyone's had a fantastic week as we approach finals week here on the UNI campus. And let's just hop right into it with Panther Sports. So first of all, the UNI men's basketball team was able to get a successful win on the board on Wednesday night as they defeated the A-10s as Richmond Spiders 78-73. The Panthers were led in scoring by Trey Campbell who scored 21 points. And then the Spiders were led by Jordan Keene who put, pitched in 20. With the win, the Panthers improved a 3-6 and six on the season and will be looking for a second consecutive win on the year as they head on the road to the Toledo Rockets tomorrow. The game will tip off at 1 p.m. from the Savage Arena in Toledo, Ohio and will be seen live on ESPN Plus and it will be also be streaming on the Panther Sports Radio Network. The Panthers will be back at home in the McLeod Center on Tuesday night to host the Prairie View A&M Panthers. Now for women's basketball. The UNI women's basketball team has been off all week as they are trying to recover from their beatdown from Creighton last week, but they get a chance at redemption tomorrow as they host those South Dakota State Jackrabbits, a team who went to the second round of the NCAA tournament last year. The game will tip off at 2 p.m. from the McLeod Center and will be streaming live on ESPN Plus and will also be seen on the Panther Sports and can also be heard on the Panther Sports Radio Network. The game is also the ugly sweater game where the UNI student section is encouraged to wear their best ugly Christmas sweaters. So wear them tomorrow, folks. You heard it here first. And if you still have the energy from tomorrow's game, be sure to go to the McLeod Center on Sunday at 2 p.m. where you can see the debut of the 2023-2024 you and I wrestling team as they have their first home meet of the year as they host the Ivy League is, League's is Columbia Alliance. The action will start at 2 p.m. and will be seen on Flow Wrestling and will be also heard live on the Panther Sports Radio Network. Meanwhile, in other sports, the Cyhawk game held last night for the men's between the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Iowa State Cyclones was held last night at the Hilton Coliseum in Ames. And in a pretty lopsided game, the Cyclones defeated the Hawkeyes 90-65. With the win, the Cyclones improved to 7-2 on the season, and as they can look forward to the Big 12 play with a couple of good new teams in Houston and Cincinnati and BYU. Meanwhile, the Hawkeyes will fall to 5-4 and four on the season. They were led in scoring by senior Peyton Sanford, who pitched in 14 points for the Hawkeyes. Meanwhile, Gilbert led the Cyclones with 25 points scored. And now let's look at the NFL. Last night on Thursday Night Football, the Patriots took on the Pittsburgh Steelers. The Patriots were coming off of a ugly 6-0 home loss to the Chargers. Meanwhile, the Steelers got absolutely embarrassed by the 2 win Cardinals last week. And then in a pretty crazy game, the Patriots were able to beat the Steelers 21-18. Led by Bailey Zappi, who had taken over for Mac Jones, who tossed three touchdown passes. With the win, the Patriots improved to 3-10 and on the season. And then they get the Kansas City Chiefs at home when they return next week. Meanwhile, the Steelers lose their second consecutive game to a two-loss team at home, as they will fall to 7-6, and and they will hit the road to take on the Indianapolis Colts next week. Here is the rest of your Week 13 action in the NFL. Tampa Bay is at Atlanta. Indianapolis is at Cincinnati, Jacksonville is at Cleveland, Houston is at the New York Jets, the LA Rams are at Baltimore, Detroit's at Chicago, Carolina's at New Orleans, Seattle's at San Francisco, Minnesota's at Las Vegas, Buffalo's at Kansas City, Denver's at the LA Chargers, and on Sunday Night Football, it's, the Phil it's Philadelphia at Dallas, where Dallas is coming off of a bye week. Meanwhile, the Eagles are coming off an embarrassing home loss to the 49ers. And on Monday Night Football, it's a doubleheader as the as Green Bay, who is coming off their Sunday Night Football win at home against Kansas City last week, are on the road at the New York Giants. And Tennessee is at Miami. And that's all I got for sports today. So let's just hop in right into our music. So we got kind of a 2000s and 90s theme going on today. So the first song I'm going to be playing with you is a 2008 classic, one of my favorite rock songs of all time. It's Nickelback's... Burn it to the ground. 
and that was Hamster and the Hamptons with the Hamster Dance from 2000, which I don't care what everybody else says, but it's probably one of the best songs to come out from the decade. That is a hot take. If you disagree with me, so be it. I think that song is fire. It's so catchy, good beat, and the lyrics are freaking awesome too. So a really great song from the 2000s that a lot of people hate, but a song that a ton of people hate that I can totally justify is our next song, which is also coming from a popular meme. It's Crazy Frog by Axel F, which became another popular meme song from the 2000s. So here it is. And that was, and that was, uh, sorry, Pink with, 2000, with her 2008 hit, So What? And now we gotta wrap up the show, folks, because it's almost 10.52. So... I'm just going to tell you guys right now that the theme for our last show together on Monday is going to be all Christmas music. So leave me suggestions for what Christmas songs you want to hear on Monday, and I'll probably end up playing them for all of you. So this is the end of our show today. So this has been Bennett with Bennett's Music Variety Show. I hope all of you have an absolutely wonderful and amazing day, and have a great weekend, and good luck on all your finals coming up here this next week. And I'll catch all you guys back here Monday morning at 9 a.m. where I will play Christmas music all morning. But for now, we will end off with 50 Cent's 2003 hit, The End the Club. Have a great day and a great weekend, everybody. And that was Nickelback with Burn It to the Ground from 2008. One of my favorite rock songs of all time. Such a great song, so I figured I'd play that for all of you today. And another great song from this decade is a song that came out right during the first year of the decade from 2000. It's Mojo with Lady, Hear Me Tonight, which is coming to you now.